guys this is Tina welcome back to my channel so I'm just working on my latest journal and I thought that I would switch the camera on and bring you guys along so touch wood it's kind of coming along and um, you know almost sort of finished with it really so I've just got three more pages left to do and then I've got general decorating you know lots of decorating left to do and um, the cover so this particular journal I've made it from a, a bubble wrap envelope um, it's the second time that I've done a bubble wrap envelope cover recently but obviously depending on how my uploads go that may or may not have gone up um, so I yeah I haven't actually decorated the cover yet other than I've covered it in fabric but I've just got three pages really uh, yeah three pages left to go and then I just want to do some extra bits and bobs and decorating throughout the journal so I just thought that I would switch the camera on and um, yeah see if you guys wanted to come along for or a bit of a play really today so I've pulled in this piece which was just one of the mass making pieces that we did and I'm just going to move the journal onto my lap so I've got room to actually ink this up otherwise it's just um, a bit of a squash here on the desk so yeah it's just resting in my lap at the moment so I'm just inking this up with my vintage photo otherwise it was going to look quite glaringly sort of white I mean not that it is white but you know not very vintagey compared to the rest of the journal so okay. and I've also got some clusters which I made previously you know or over several occasions actually I think I've made these but I've just pulled them in because this is a very florally journal and I just thought oh actually these clusters might you know they might just tone in with the journal so I've just got those there to play around with may or may not use them so if I just bring the the journal back so this one as you can see this is a full page height um, pocket and I'm not going to trim it down or anything I'm going to leave it full page height I mean I think that's quite nice sometimes to have a massive pocket like that so just going to sort of rest that down there so as it holds the page now wondering what glue is best to glue this down with probably my tacky glue the only reason why I'm doubting is because my page is quite curved there um, you know because it's been coffee dyed and obviously ironed but despite being ironed it's still got a curl to it so um, yeah I didn't really want to have anything that was too long drying any glue that was too long drying and admittedly this one does sort of take quite a while but but hopefully we'll be okay so and I can always fill in any bits with some extra glue afterwards so okay so I hope you guys are all having a good day hope you're doing some nice crafting having a nice time hope everything is well in the world with you you can hear my daughter there shouting downstairs Obviously asking Daddy to do something for her. Probably get her some food of some sort. I mean, not that it's breakfast or lunch or anything else, but she's had breakfast, but it was obviously a while ago now. So she's probably now getting ready for her next instalment of um, food. So I'm just going to obviously try and press that down across the edges. And actually, this is where I could probably do with my little tool from Alana. So perhaps I have to pull that in actually. Let me just pull that in. Um, I can't remember ever the name of this this awesome tool that Alana so kindly gifted me. Um, but it's one of these these thingies where you've got these clips and then they can just clip around onto the edge, just holding it clamped, oops, clamped closed. Close there. Oops. I obviously wasn't quite on the, the page because I don't want it obviously not sticking. So, and you just reuse these little clips. So, I just put one back in through the top just so that I can clip it on this edge now. So, I might need a couple down this edge to be honest. Oops. Oh, I might not have any left. Okay, well that's fine. So I just hold that closed like that. Okie dokie. 
so hopefully they won't have to be on there for too long and then I'm thinking possibly put one of those clusters onto there so it's a really florally journal that I'm making and um, yeah I've been having lots of fun with it so I'm thinking maybe that one um, looks really good on there kind of just mixing the florals up and yeah just uh, just having some fun really and kind of sticking things <laughs> wherever takes my fancy at the time so obviously she's going to overhang this um, slightly I mean I don't really mind that but I mean I could possibly take it down a little bit so so she's just not overhanging so much like that so I mean of course she is still going to overhang a bit but not too too much so yeah that's probably better so I wonder if I can slide that along oh, maybe not maybe not so I'll just put these back into here as I go otherwise I shall lose them actually I have have that one now in there so I just do another one there yeah this is a really nifty gizmo so Alana if you're watching this thank you again really appreciate it so very very handy right I'm just going to hot glue this on because it's just you know nice and instant and then I don't have to be pinning anything else down it's just going to be stuck on there so like that okie dokie so I love the way that there's loads of different sort of florals on here just looks really super pretty and interesting okay oops get rid of those blue threads right, I wonder if I can move that along slightly just so it's sort of really clamping it down at the edge okay so I might come back to this page to put some lace and things on because I'm just going to leave it sort of clamped shut for a couple of more you know a couple more minutes so if we just turn over these are the other two pages that I've yet to do so again I've just bought in something from the mass making that we've done um, so you know again it's another florally piece and I just thought oh that would be you know really good on here again I've got another one of those clusters but the thing is I don't want to suddenly look like oh I've got a whole you know bunch of clusters here on this page because or you know in this section of the journal it's you know probably a bit strange to do that so yeah I might kind of avoid doing that a little bit so let me just rest my scissors on there and that just holds the page down as well so I might make a little flippy flip out and actually I have got this one here oh I thought that might have just been the right size but it wasn't let me see whether I have any other coffee dye paper just to hand I've got this one so this is just um you know paper it's not card or anything like that but you know hopefully that's that's going to be fine so just going to fold over here which will be my part that glues on to the you know to this thing the pocket <laughs> not a thing a pocket so that will be just attached like that and then I can just sort of gauge then approximately where it needs to be so and I might have it more as a flip down perhaps yeah might do that I think now I'm coming back to that cluster again thinking oh what should I have that on there I'm not sure about that and to be honest I'm not even sure about the flip the flip down yeah I might might not have the flip down well what we could do actually is have this as a belly band let's do that that's a bit more fun isn't it I just fancied doing something a little bit different so um just having it as a belly band there is a bit more interesting isn't it so I've just got some of the florally paper here I'm just going to just tear this this corner I mean this hasn't been coffee dyed or anything like that but But it's it's fine it does kind of match so just wondering whether we could have that sort of popped somewhere on oh it's quite nice like that I thought it probably would look better sort of you know coming out from the corner but actually I think it looks better you know poking out from the pocket to be honest yeah I prefer it like that definitely so let's just glue that down Okay. 
it's another grey day here which again is quite strange because it was looking quite sunny and then just suddenly it's clouded over and um, not looking so good again. Just glue that down. Like that. And then I'm going to just pop this like a belly band there in the I mean it's not necessarily the centre, but you know, approximately the centre. So and this is one of those um I mean I called them slot pockets. I don't really know what other description I would give them really. Um, but these are those that we made in the mass making, so you can hopefully get an idea for how it looks in a journal if you, you know, if you didn't make any and you're wondering. So it's just like done like a belly band and then you've got your little slot pocket there. So I think they're quite nifty to use. Quite cool. Okay. Just glue that down. Hold it down for a couple of minutes. Now I've got a lady sat here. I wonder whether I could have her on there. And she might be quite nice, mightn't she? Might have to tear her down slightly more because otherwise I feel like I'm losing loads of the floral, which I did really want, you know, showing. Oh, that's a bit better. Yeah. Yep, that's a bit better. So I think we'll just glue her on. And she's just overhanging there, if you can see at the bottom. Let me just check that I'm in frame and filming and everything else. Yeah, she's just overhanging here at the bottom. But, I mean, I don't mind that, to be honest. I think it's kind of quite nice because it stops it having completely straight edges, which, you know, that's quite fun, isn't it? You don't want everything kind of looking the same all the time. Let me see if I have some lace or something to put on here because otherwise it's a laceless page that will never do so I could just have a bit of lace there at the end of the belly band I could have some lace going running right down the side which I haven't really done very much in this journal let me just have a look I've got some other lace oh it's here it's here okay oops let me check it's the right way up So that's quite nice because that sort of mirrors the lace that's running down the edge of the inside of the front cover. So I think I'm going to do that. So I just, sorry, I'm just fidgeting around on my chair now. So um, because I obviously stood up, you know, to see that I was filming and in frame. Oh, come on, glue. Okay. I can't really see whether that's come out or not, to be honest. You know when the light's just catching it at the wrong angle? The light's just kind of blocking my view to see whether the um, glue has come out or not. Hopefully it has. So I just glue that down like that. And just trim that off. Oops, I seem to have now a glue lid stuck on my scissors, look. <laughs> Must have got stuck with the hot glue. Oh, honestly, anything can happen on my desk. Okay, and then this one here I thought was quite nice. So this was one of those fabric tags that we made. Um, but I just thought actually, I mean, there's no reason why you can't use a tag as a pocket. So I might just have that there. Um, I just need to decide 100% that that's what I want to do. So oh, perhaps I'll go back to this page while I'm deciding. So I'll just pull these things off now. Now that little device, it has actually got a mechanism for, you know, getting these off. But to be honest, I just find it quicker to, to just pull them off. So, um, yeah, and then you can just slide them all back in. And then you've got them for next time. So, yeah, super handy, super handy. And I've, you know, kept it in the same place. So hopefully I know where it is every time. So I'll just... Pop it on the floor for a moment, just ready for next time. Okay, 
So this one here, I might just put a bit of a ruffle or something. So I've got this that's coffee dyed. Maybe we'll just have a little bit. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? Because I don't want to run anything down the edge because then I will cover up all of this sort of pretty stuff. So I think just a little sort of ruffle there down the side is just, you know, just what just what it needs. So, yeah. So I'm just going to... I'll just hot glue this down because, again, it's just nice and instant. And then I'll go back in and hot glue the other side. Okay. So I'll just then... I mean, I do like my ruffles a bit sort of curved really not not always you know sometimes I like to you know be daring and mix it up and have them straight oh honestly <laughs> you know what I mean but yeah I do have a bit of a lean in to having them um on the curve for some reason I have no idea why that is I don't think I used to do that I think I did used to have them straight but I really like them sort of a bit curved now I think it just adds you know a little something now, do we want any lace or anything on here? Might be overdoing it. Yeah, maybe I'm overdoing it by adding some lace. Perhaps we'll leave that like that. But perhaps what we could do is just have a little bit of bling on the ruffle. So again, let me just oh, find my bling, which I know is here because I literally was using it yesterday and I haven't been here since. So unless I had sort of mice come in the night and move it. Although, to be honest, anything could happen. You know, my daughter is a little bit of a mouse when it comes to blingy things. Well, not a mouse, I guess. Um, is it magpies? Are they the ones that are drawn to shiny things? She's, she's a magpie. Yeah. Okay. So I will just attach this with the Fabri-Tac. Okay, pop that down just on the ruffle there. So that looks really pretty now. Okay, hello, gorgeous. My Barbie's just had a shower. Your Barbie's just had a shower. Wow. I put nice one. Uh, now, I'm just trying to think what I did with... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, what did I do with that other cluster? Just because... I'm not so sure about this now. What do you think? I mean, it is quite nice, but to be fair, I mean, I could probably have this tucked in somewhere. Maybe in here would look quite nice. In there. Yeah, I might not go for that. I might have this one here instead. Now, do I have it as a little tuck spot of its own, sort of in there? I might do that. So again, this one I managed to actually do the staple method. So it's just stapled, but in two places. So what I will do is actually reinforce it with some glue so as it makes like a more comprehensive, um, you know, piece. So as it's thicker if something's going to be sticking on it. Uh, not sticking on it, but you know, if it's being used as like a tuck spot, you want it sort of thicker, don't you really? So it's a bit more up to the job. Otherwise it's just sort of thin one layer of paper, so I'll just then pop that down. Oh, your Barbie looks gorgeous. And I've made her some lip balm, I've got some clothes up there. Mm, nice one. Lovely. She looks very comfy, doesn't she? She's naked again, Barbie. She's always naked. <laughs> I think that's just a thing, isn't it? Oh yeah, because you've just showered her. She is generally often naked anyway, but... I, I couldn't find her and I was like, oh, I think I looked at her and then I found her outside my bed at the other side. Ah. I was like, oh, 
her hair looks very like thin. I think I should wash her in the tap. Because I just put some water in mm. I think I've said before on my channel, but my daughter does really like playing with water. So, um, yeah. My middle son, he loved playing with water. And my my daughter also loves playing with water. So, yeah, her favourite thing. Getting messy and playing with water. Right, so I think all my pages are pretty much done. I just want to go back through and sort of add you know, um, decorative pieces. But I mean, on the whole, everything's pretty much in place. All I'm going to do is go back through, add lace, add bling, and do maybe some stamping and things like that around where it needs it. Um, and so now, really, it's the cover. Now, I have to confess, if you have a look here, where I've stitched the signature in, can you see where this is like bubble wrap enveloped is covered with fabric? It's just got that tendency to flop out a little bit because it's not particularly solid, I suppose, would be the word. So I'm wondering whether I need to tie back down here, which will just give it a little bit more stability. Um, you know, not because I think it's going to tear, because of course it's got two layers of fabric um, plus the bubble wrap envelope inside, but more because I just want to stop it from having that sort of flopping out effect can you see I mean it's not flopping out but I feel like it possibly is so I'm just going to grab my Tyvek hold on okay right and then all I'm going to do I mean to be honest I probably could get away with just even having it just here on these bits but let's just put it out to roughly the length it needs to be so, oops. Okay. And I do try and keep a separate pair of scissors. I know that I've said that before, but this Tyvek is so sticky, you know, that it really can clog up your scissors. So yeah, I do try and keep some separate. So I'm thinking, you know, if I go right around like that, and then of course I'm going to have to cover that up, but you know, that's fine. Um, just because, you know, I don't think this is going to tear, but more I want it to be, I like the floppiness of the cover being sort of fabric-y, and I like the squishiness, but I feel that this is a little bit of a, not a weak point, but do you know what I mean? I'm probably really not explaining myself very well. So what I might do is cut the Tyvek down slightly, because it doesn't need to be as wide as that. So if I just cut it down slightly, that's less to have to cover up. Okay, okay. And what I've done, I've inked up all of the fabric. Oops. Inked up all of the fabric there. Um, so it's looking nice and sort of grumpy as well. So I'm just going to come here like that. Oops. Oh, I'm now stuck on my mat. Oh. Okay, right. Oh, now I've got bits dropping out of my journal, which. Again, this is not great. Oh, now look. I've got a massive wadge of it at the back and hardly any at the front. Well, that was not not intentional, but, you know, sometimes these things happen, don't they? And that's fine. We can cover that up anyway. I don't know whether this will have achieved what I was hoping, but let's have a look. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's helped, to be honest. So, um, yeah. I'm I'm happy with that. Right, this fell out when I tipped it up. I haven't gone through with paper clips and things like that either. So lots of bits are still, you know, needing paper clipping in. Um, so that's why that dropped out. Sorry, I'm just putting my tie vet back because I'm trying to make an effort to obviously be tidy. Yeah, it doesn't come naturally, obviously. Right. Now what I did yesterday was I printed out some of the Victorian florals that you know there's lots of this inside here uh, like here for instance but I printed it out on fabric so what I'm thinking is that we could just come down over the Tyvek with this that will then you know kind of hide the Tyvek quite well so yep that's what I'm going to do now just wondering if I did it 
No, I'm not really going to get away with that, am I? Okay. So I'm going to do it like this. Okay, so you need to come down about here. So just trim it down like that. Now, this is still on the sticky label, um, you know, from where I printed it. So if you haven't checked out my how to print on fabric, I will try and remember to link that below. I have to say the odds are I'm not going to remember to do that. So if I forget, which is incredibly likely, please, if you want to see it, just nudge me. I mean, of course, if you search for it, I'm sure you can find it. Um, but yeah, if you can't, then just nudge me in the comments and, um, you know, I can, I can link the printing on fabric tutorial. Oh my gosh, now look. <laughs> Let me just try and get this started. So, I mean, basically to print on the fabric, this is just an old sheet, just a, you know, plain white sheet. And basically what I've done is just stuck the fabric sheet on one of those complete, you know, A4 complete one label sheets um you know like the label sheets but it's just one one label oh i might have to stop the camera while i get this started because this is so boring for you guys it's boring for me too hold on right i finally got the label off sorry i just couldn't get it started and the reason that i've done that is so that i can now tear the fabric and have that nice kind of rough edge which you know i really like so yeah, all I'm going to do is hopefully have that covering up that Tyvek like that. So again, I'm just going to glue that with my um, Fabri-Tac. Now, I'm looking now just to make sure that those, you know, the Tyvek print is not really visible through the fabric. Because, I mean, obviously this is just a bed sheet and so it's not the thickest fabric on the planet. Um, and, you know, I don't want those great big words obviously showing through, so... I'm just going to, I mean, it looks okay, whether it will be once it's wet with the glue, it might not, but hopefully once it dries, it will go back to, to not really showing, so, okay. And I just want to come a bit in front of that Tyvek label as well. So, uh, again, I can't really see very invisible this glue so uh, you just can't really tell whether it's coming out or not because of where the light is okay okie dokie and then just take that edge just deciding which, yeah, probably here. So just pop that down like that. Press that down. And then turn it over and I just do the same then here. I should really put the lid on my ink pad before I just ink everything up, shouldn't I? So just again, go round and just a little bit over the Tyvek so that hopefully, you know, I've got it really covered everywhere. Like that. And then just zigzag this down and then just pop a bit more along here. Okay, I mean, hopefully I've got quite a lot on there now. Okay, okay. Get my threads out. And just then glue that down like that. Okay. Okay, and now I'm just going to cut that down just so it's sort of pretty much in line with the the actual journal or the the cover Oops. and then again at the bottom so I'm just going here well 
Right, she seems to have something going on here. Hold on. Oh, right, let's just move that out of the way. I think what's happened, my Tyvek was a little bit long here, so I'll just go back in and just chop that down a bit. Okay. Okay, right, so we are done. Finally, we're done. Right, which is the front and which is the back, okay. So yeah, that has just covered up that Tyvek and hopefully it's just kind of, um, you know, reinforced, not for strength, as I say, but more for stability. That, um, what do you call it? You know, the spine. Uh, right, okay, so what else to put on that cover? I'm not quite sure. Like I say, it's a very florally, florally journal. Um, or flower, flowery journal. So let's just have a look. I've obviously got more of this fabric left. Right, didn't quite know what um, to put here, but then I suddenly remembered that I had done my snippet rolls a few weeks ago. And I just thought, oh, colour wise, maybe this one would go okay. So I can't remember whether I made this um, on camera or not, but I've just got this, this snippet roll here. And I just thought, oh, this may go okay. So I'm just going to, in the first instance, chop this down here, <clears throat> like that, for us to piece in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop this down. I mean, you know, it's probably not really essential to have this panel, but I just quite like that whole, you know, lots of layers look. So get rid of that thread. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, in fact, I didn't ink this up either. I mean, to be honest, I don't really think this needs a great deal of inking, but I guess I should ink it a bit because obviously the other fabric is inked. So. I mean, I'm just very lightly, you know, very shoddily inking it. I'm not really kind of um, paying too much attention how it's inked. Right, so what I'm thinking is that got this flower which actually this is from one of my daughter's shoes um, she had these lovely sandals last year and there were three flowers on each sandal and I mean luckily she barely wore them well not luckily I mean obviously that's a bummer you know from um, a point of view of obviously <laughs> what a waste but luckily for me as a journaler she hardly wore them so the flowers were in really good condition. So I managed to salvage them and I've torn this one off and inked it up a little bit. And um, yeah, it's it's quite good because I had three flowers on each shoe. So obviously I had six flowers come off of those shoes, which was pretty cool. I mean, honestly, what does it come to when actually your child hardly wears something and you think, oh, that's handy, you know. Oh, well, that's handy, I can use that in my journals. Hey, that's not normal, is it? That's not the normal reaction. I'm sure that's not the reaction that my mum would, would have had, you know. Oh, brilliant, you've hardly worn that. Great, it's still in great condition. <laughs> so what I was thinking is like that, and that flower just sort of finishes that right off, doesn't it? Looks really, really pretty. Yeah, I quite like that. So let me just check what it... Oh, I quite like it with and I quite like it without, actually. What do we think? Just stand up. Again, I know that I'm always up, down, up, down, up, down, but <laughs> I just really do think you get a different perspective, you know, looking down. Oh, I'm not sure now. I mean, I was thinking, oh, let's layer it up, but but actually, maybe not. So perhaps we could just have some sort of, I've got this trim that I bought along as well. So this was gifted to me in Happy Mail. And it's just got quite a nice, a nice sort of effect. Or I could have this perhaps coming out here underneath that snippet roll. So let's just try it here. Hmm. Oh, that's probably a bit of a waste there. It doesn't really kind of do much. Let me just pop 
pop that one away again. And I'll just see what else I've got in my little drawer of laces, you know, that are all, all staying tidy and sorted so far. So, yep, so far so good. <clears throat> so I've got this one. So this one, you know, this one was just mine. It's not vintage or anything, but it may be. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, I quite like that. Just wondering whether we want to have anything down this edge, really. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't necessarily want it just like, you know, a whole load of lines lined up pieces um, I mean that's quite nice wonder if, let me just pull in so these are these are the flowers so the only thing is I did have some trouble getting them actually off because they're still attached you know to the little leather piece that they were on so yeah I ended up kind of having to pull them off and well pull that one off that's the only one I've managed to get off so far but I just oh no that's really weird I thought oh perhaps we could have another one there but that's like lined up but we could have it there actually well that's quite nice right let me now try and get this off this might be another um turn the camera off moment because <laughs> a bit like getting that fabric off of the label this might just be a protracted process so hold on right I managed to get the flower off I have to say I think I've chopped off half the petals because it's got a bit of a bare look now but you know it's fine it doesn't look so bare that there's like no petals so that's okay right let's get gluing this down so I'm just going to take my hot glue so I'm just going to glue this one down because it's not glued to the edge like that then I'm going to glue this lace and I just want this running kind of along in front of there so Oh, honestly, everything then was slipping down, slipping down, and I nearly had it all just, just stuck over there to the side. <laughs> right, so then I'm going to take this piece. Now, I quite like this draggly edge, so I think what I'll do is just cut it down here, like that, and have like that straggly, straggly edge going on there, because I think that's really nice. So this one, because it's very holy, I'm going to just glue it with my fabri tack so I'm just going to apply the fabri tack you know hopefully to some of the solid parts of this now it's not got a great deal of solid parts as you can see most of them are pretty holy but okay come on right okie dokie pop that there like that okay and then our snippet roll that we're going to have along here and then we've got obviously, oops, obviously that flower is going to go there now just before I put this all in place I think that was that way around actually just before we put this all in place I'm just wondering whether I want to attach anything as a closure at this point like if I were to have lace or anything did I want it tucked under here um, because I quite like that so let me just see what ribbons and things I've got right I've just had a sort through my ribbons and I've come up with these two so I've got this one which I think this is called that grow gain, grow grow gain ribbon um, really pretty and it's in this dusky pink which just picks up some of the colors here I mean it's like you know that color and things and then this really gorgeous it's quite skinny organza ribbon but it's polka dot and it's beige so you know again it just tones really nicely with the journal and so what I'm going to do is just attach these two whoops sorry about that my son is having the coffin fit um, so what I'm going to do is just attach these two here and I'm just going to literally attach them with some hot glue. So that one there. And then 
the beige one sort of on top or you know just somewhere in the vicinity really like that because I want them to sort of be together but I don't necessarily want them running on top of each other so just you know like that so they're together but separate okay and then I'm going to stick my snippet roll down right the way over the ribbon so that will then sort of hold the ribbon down a bit more so I can probably just pop a little bit more glue under here like that okay and then I'm going to just pop this here so again I'm just going to now hot glue my snippet roll down because it's just nice and quick so like that and obviously you can see I mean it's overhanging personally I don't mind that but I may trim it down a little bit afterwards so we'll just see how it goes but just going to now just run the glue you know pretty much everywhere so as to really stick that down nicely so just press everything down I must say I do love this squishy feeling of the bubble wrap envelope so you know it's just probably worth bearing in mind the you know this slight sort of maybe reinforcement um, but aside from that it does make a nice texture I have to say so then what I'm going to do is just turn it over before I pop those flowers on turn it over oops I have loads of this polka dot ribbon and not a great deal of this one I have to say um, just so that I can get to the back and attach the ribbon on here so again just going to do the same in just sticking them down so the pink and then the the polka dot one like that now bearing in mind I have not stuffed my journal yet so it's going to get fatter than this yet um, so what I like to do to make sure I've got the right amount of ribbon is I don't cut it first I then oops oh I'm struggling to get this um to hold right what I do is I tie tie the ribbon obviously I'm trying to do this so as you can see which is not then making it very easy but I just tie my bow bearing in mind it's going to expand slightly yet and then I know roughly where to cut it I mean you can probably see but actually that grow game ribbon that's probably the right length so to be honest in this case what I'm going to do undo the bow like that and then all I'm going to do is pull the ribbon out so as I chop it in half oops oh my gosh trying to get that polka dot ribbon out of the ribbon now okay so what I'm going to do is just then trim it down so it's just approximately the same length at the back and the front I mean it doesn't have to be absolute you know but just roughly and I just kind of get it and then fold it fold it over here that way and then if you go down like that that should give you those little you know triangle ends and then I just do the same then with my polka dot ribbon I don't bother with the triangle ends with this because it's quite a skinny ribbon so I just you know snip that in like that so that's one side and then the other side again just take it out for the measurement and then just snip that in like that okay so let me move the ribbon out the way oh gosh okay and we just turn it back over so we've got the ribbon now attached which looks really really pretty doesn't it and I quite like the ribbon when it's doubled up like that it just sort of adds an extra dimension okay and then I'm just going to go back to my flowers here so I'm going to just have one flower here so again I mean actually this one I think the same thing happened as this i.e you know I kind of tore some of the petals off and then what I did I just backed it onto some card to try and hold it together which was why I then left it's all coming back now which was why I left the rest onto the you know the part of the shoe still 
so they weren't just falling to pieces, you know, whilst they're sat there. So, but the other one's fine. It will look fine once it's glued down. So, just pop this down here. Okay, and then this one, just want this up here. Now, I don't want to glue the ribbon down, so I'm just going to sort of move the ribbon out the way. And then we're just going to glue this down, so. And hopefully I can smush the petals together a little bit more anyway, so, um, you know, it won't be so, so apparent that I've damaged it. There we go. I did forget to ink this one as well, but it doesn't matter too much. Because I only lightly inked the other one, so. Right, I've got a little bit of hot glue there, which is a bit annoying, but again, you know, it won't really show too much. You're right, sweetie, you were coughing and spluttering a lot. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Right, I'm just trying to pick that hot glue off. I think I'm actually making it worse. So, yeah, I will leave that, leave that alone. I mean, to be honest, you know, it doesn't really show up, to be honest, unless you actually look really closely. So that's our cover with our closure. Now, obviously the back, I just want to cover up here and probably cover up something here as well. So, again, I'm just going to take this this lace trim that we used on the front and pop that down there so oops. did we fabric tack that or did we hot glue that I just can't even remember now I think we I think we hot glued it so we'll just hot glue that again so okay Okay, trim that off. And then here on the edge, I was going to put the lace trim down again, but actually we've got the snippet roll still. So I guess what we could do is have the snippet roll running down along the edge. Well, that's quite a nice little detail, isn't it? So I'm just going to cut that down here. And again, just ink this up because it's, you know, quite bright at the moment. Well, not bright, but you know, it's not inked. So we just ink that up. Okay. Right. Okay, so that's better. And then which way up did I want it? Did I want it facing out? Because it's just got a couple of bits with text on there. I mean, not that, you know, not that I'm too worried about that, but just want to check which way round looks better. Oh yeah, it does look better this way round because the other side's a bit jaggedy. Okay, so I'm just going to go along there and, you know, just like we did before, hot glue the whole lot down. So, and again, you know, this is going to then reinforce that ribbon or not reinforce it, but you know, hold the ribbon down and secure the ribbon a bit more. So, sorry about that noise. That was obviously those flowers sort of sliding around on the um, glass mat. There it is again. Sorry, a little bit chalkboard, you know, nails on the chalkboard, but but not very loud. So hopefully, hopefully most of you didn't hear it. Right, had a bit of an accident there with the hot glue. You can probably see. So what I'll do is just wait a couple of moments. Hopefully that will dry. Just try and just scrape it off actually. It's not so hot now, so there we go. Okay, right, again, probably how not to do it, but. Right. Okay, so yep, that's our closure and our cover all done looks super super pretty and um yeah i mean as i say i have got obviously more things to do inside the journal i just want to add some other little bits and pieces and just finish it off but i mean how super pretty does that look so yeah really really like it and um i hope that you guys you know enjoyed that as well 
and um, yeah hopefully catch you soon and have a great day everybody and see you soon thanks then bye